Hello there and welcome back to linuxjobber.com where we prepare you for Linux jobs. My own name is Shonmi Joseph and my email is showpopulous at gmail.com. Feel free to send me any questions if you have it and I'll be sure to answer your questions for you. Today we're going to be looking at on our website linuxjobber.com we're going to be looking at module 8 still like we did before. It's networking basics and we're going to be looking at the practice question number eight and we have done question number five and question number six in the past and today we're going to do question number seven for question number seven it says to run the script get the starter get the router static IP address and um, check the network for an IP address that is not already in use disable DHCP configure your machine and replace it to and replace it with static route by configuring this device the ETH0 the NIC card and then change the host name of your machine to host 22 so let's get started and do that very quickly now a question like this will probably earn you about nine, 9 points on a typical Red Hat exam today it will earn you right about 7 points here and um, there are very few interviews that we, you will go to that this question wouldn't come up this is very important on the interviews is very important on the exams uh, because it's networking and it's very important so you have to know how to do this one now let's do it very quickly so when I ran the script here's a, um, a static IP address of my router and um, the question says to, find, to to scan the network for open IPs that we're going to use for this machine here, localhost, and we have to change this name. So to scan networks, you use a program called Nmap, P, S, P, and uh, this will scan every machine on this network, dot 168, dot zero it doesn't matter what the last octet is you could have just put one two three or anything what matters is that you, you put this last 24 which means that all of the network every machine on this network so when you say to do this um fail to resolve if you're using it's come before s let's see what i, I did wrong there okay so now it's going it's doing a scan as you can see it scans every machine on my network and here you can see every IP on this network this is part of um, scanning the net your network and uh, you have other uses for this in the future but for now let's figure out which IP is not in use as you can see all of my um, machines here so I will pick um, IP let's just say 139 so 139 to use now there are three different methods of editing your IP address and your network configuration first one is you can easily just go to you can easily just um, do a, a VI on this but I'm, going to, I'm just going to do a cat because I wouldn't use this. I'm just showing you how to do this. So you do Etsy, sysconfig, do network, and in here you can change the name of your local machine. This is where you set the name of your local machine. But without also editing your host file, Etsy host file, you will not this will require two steps without editing the whole ed, editing the host files you, you don't you will not complete the, complete the task so inside the SA host file you have to make a line like this one also and put that IP address here that's under so this is the first one and then there's a second one and you're gonna make a third line where you're gonna put the IP address and then put your new name that you want and then the new name so this the first one will be the fully qualified domain domain name and then the next one will be the new name host 22 
of your new machine but I'm not going to do that one here because it requires two steps and I'd rather do the one with one step so now let's talk about the ones with the one step you can use the you can use the if you are doing this on SSH and you're logging into a remote machine I, I will strongly advise to use um, system config network now when you do this it will be in because I'm on local local host is bringing up this thing this GUI here but when you do this on a remote machine it will bring out a text GUI and you can use that to configure your network information I strongly advise to use this on the exam because if you don't you risk errors of making mistakes when you manually type it in and the other way to finish getting it done if you're doing this on the exam on if you're doing this manually is to go to Etsy sysconfig network scripts and um, if you inside this network scripts folder all your all your um NICs which is the network cards will be listed in up here somewhere so you would pick which one you want to use right now as you can see I only have one network card here and that's the one that I'm picking to use here because I only have one and then if you open it up you can see all of the information is here and if you're doing this manually what you have to do is change this DHCP to static and then put IP address below this line here equal to and then you put your new IP address now I wouldn't do that right now because I don't want to do it manually and I would rather use a GUI tool, tool and if I'm using SSH I will use the system config network TUI tool which is test um, GUI and that will do what I want and it will do checks for me and I strongly advise that you do that so you avoid typing errors on the exam so now if you're not to to go back and do well, and do our work what we need to do to answer the question um, so I'm picking if, if you can see the device is active and it's the if zero and this is the name of it and if you go up here any any amount of options could be available here depending on the um, flavor of Linux that you're using and the version so um, I'm just going to edit it and instead of having it being DHCP I will change it to static set static I statically set IP address I'll do this and this will disable the DHCP and then I'll put the IP address in here 192.168.0.139 that's the one that I would like to use and the net mask I'll show you let me quickly show you how to get the net mask you know what let me finish this and I'll show you how to get a net mask because you have to use the right net, net mask otherwise it will be wrong I'll show you how you should have gotten it you need to get out of here and go and get a net mask that you're going to use here and then the static IP address of your default gateway you have to put it in here and that's what the script gave to us in the first place so and you do this you submit it you hit OK and and then when you close this it asks you if you want to save your changes you say yes and then it will restart all of your network tools that's one of the reasons for 
using the GUI tool because it will restart your um, network tools and if it does that um, your system should come up fine now here's what you do you do IP config IF config dash A to get all of the information that you put into the GUI tool that comes up now this is where you get all of the information that you need to use this is where you get because of it zero you get the IP address that you need that you need and you get your um, broadcast here you're not going to you put this one on there but the mask you will need this is the subnet mask the one that I told you you would need this you're gonna put this one in there you get your IP address here but we're using a new IP address so we're going to use a new one and not the old one so this is the old one that I had on my machine before so when you restart the networks the network now the new one would come up so let's re do a restart so what you do is service network restart and when you do this I'm gonna pause the video while this is searching for it okay it's done and you look at it and you can see it came back and if you run the same command again I have config slash a you can see that it has changed our IP address to the new one that we said to use but the net mask must be the same thing that you as the one that you had before unless you're given a different one which will be the one for the static uh, static router it must be the same thing otherwise you'll be in a different area so now this answers that question and uh, the other part of the question that we want to consider now is to change the host name to change the host name is basically the same process as what we did before so I will, I will use I would use the same tool and remember also this tool is available up here you don't have to use you don't have to type it up it's available in um, I believe it's administration administration network so if you're using Red Hat 6 it'll probably be in a different place but it's system and it's one of the first two and you have just have to find it on the, on the list but if you type it in it's just easy and you don't have to think of finding it so now if you look at this here and you click edit this is where you get to change your host name no this is not where you get to change your host name now let me go to the host name let me go to the host you, you, you go back uh, what's, okay so the same screen no you don't edit this device you go to DNS okay so right here is where you change your host name you put your fully qualified domain name here and that will change your host name for you and like I said if you want to do it manually from the command line you can use you can go to the um, etc config network file and that will change your host name and then you can put your the, adv the, the advantage of this is that you can edit your the advantage of using the GUI tool is that you can edit your DNS servers at the same time and you get to see everything in here now if you don't use that one there if you use it manually uh, let me turn off that one so we can if you have to do it manually remember that uh, the DNS information is here you're gonna do you have to do a VI if you want to change it from here at C resolve.conf and the same information is available here this information in the GUI is available here and you can basically change this information here and then restart your network like we did before and everything would be fine and that answers that question that answers all these questions and that'll take care of it thank you very much for watching this video remember my name is Sean Me Joseph at linuxjobber.com where we get you Linux jobs and prepare you for your next Linux jobs. If you have any question, please send it to me at showpopulous at gmail.com and I will be sure to answer your questions for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
and you have a nice day.